Emerson Umningagwa has declared that Zimbabwe's current state is a testament to the divine will of God. Speaking at the National Day of Prayer at State House, the president asserted that the nation's trials, including Western sanctions, were part of God's plan. Despite facing economic hardships and international sanctions, Umningagwa expressed confidence in the nation's ability to overcome challenges. Citing Philippians 4 verse 12 to 13, he urged the people to define and control their destiny, standing strong against those hindering progress. The irony of blaming God for the country's dilapidated state, while simultaneously emphasizing resilience against external factors did not go unnoticed. The president's statements sparked mixed reactions, with some praising the emphasis on faith and others questioning the responsibility placed on divine intervention. The National Day of Prayer, marked by heavy rains, took an unexpected turn as the president's words added a layer of complexity to the event. Religious leaders and government officials joined hands in prayer, creating a scene of unity amidst the controversial remarks. In a separate development, Zimbabwe received military support from China, valued at 28 million US dollars. The aid aims to modernize the Zimbabwe defense forces and enhance the nation's capabilities particularly in addressing emerging global threats of terrorism. The donation was accompanied by President Umingagwa expressing gratitude to China for its consistent friendship. The military aid is seen as a continuation of the strong relations between the two countries, emphasizing mutual support and cooperation. As Zimbabwe navigates both economic challenges and international partnerships, the president's juxtaposition of divine influence and international support adds a layer of complexity to the nation's narrative.